Okay, you guys are really going to like the features in IntelliJ, so please follow along with me and I'm going to walk you through a couple of its really awesome capabilities. So let's go ahead and create a new project. On the left you see different kinds of projects you can create. Let's make a Java project. Um, SDK stands for Software Developer Kit. Um, we're using the JDK, which is Java Developer Kit, version 1.8. Um, you can use anything 1.8 or larger and that's fine. So click Next. We're not going to create a project from a template. And let's call ours Hello World. As a programmer, whenever you're working with files or folders on your computer, you want to know the location of the folder on your hard drive. Don't rely on search. So here it's telling us the location is the C drive, which is the name of the hard drive, followed by users, D. Dobervich. For mine, it's APCS. Yours probably says, uh, I think it's uh, Idea Projects. So if you want to go ahead and change that, select um, between the two slashes and type APCS and then hello world is the name of the folder and click finish and it will probably tell you that that folder doesn't exist and ask if it's okay to create it and that's okay. Um, I'm going to close these tips and here we see the structure uh, of the project that it's created for us. So um, you can look at hello world.iml, this is configuration information about the project. This .idea folder is uh, what's called a hidden folder. Any folder that starts with a dot is usually hidden. And it also contains some other configuration information. And you can look in there if you want to, and you can also read about it if you want to. For us, let's click on source, right click, and say new Java class, which we'll call hello world. And I'll make the font a little bit larger for you. Okay, so ordinarily at this point, you would type public static void main to create the main method. Instead of that, you can type PSVM for public static void main and then hit tab or enter and you'll see that it automatically creates the method for you. Instead of typing system.out.println for hello world, you can type SOUT tab and it will create system.out.println for you. So all you have to do is type the text you want to display. You can hit this green arrow key to run the program and it's compiling right now. And there you see it's displayed hello world. Once you've run it once from the left hand side, then this green arrow up here will replay whatever your last run program was. Um, but until you run it here, uh, this will appear grayed out. Okay, let me show you a couple more shortcuts. So let's say we wanted to display hello world 10 times. Um, you might write a for loop that goes from zero to 10. You can do that by typing 4i and then hit enter. And here you can rename this if you want to. And notice that as you type, it will change the variable name. I'm going to keep it as i. And you can hit enter. And then type the number that you want to be your max value and then hit enter. Then type SOUT, hello world. And so now we're going to print hello world 10 times. Let's do that same idea over again. And by the way, if you're not typing this along with me, you should definitely like pause, go back, and type along, because I want you to get these ideas under your fingers. So let's do something called programming by intention, which means that we'll go ahead and use commands that don't exist yet and invent them the way that we wish that they behaved. So I wish that there was a command called display n times where I give it a phrase I want to display, like hello world, and then a number of times, like 10. Okay, in Eclipse, this would be underlined. In IntelliJ, it's highlighted in red. So go ahead and put your cursor on it and hit Alt-Enter, and you see it will allow you to create the method. And there it is. It returns void. We have a string as an input. Hello world is not a very good name, so let's rename that as phrase, and I'll hit Enter int is fine, and then here we'll call this uh, like num times and hit enter. Now practice again the same thing that we did before. For i, i can go from 0 up to, and instead of typing the full word num times, you can just type n tab and that's enough. And you can hit enter. And s out, and then instead of typing phrase, you can type p tab, and it will autocomplete phrase. Great, so now we've made a method, and we can practice running it again. So there's hello world, or we could type na na. I believe it's eight times, and then s out. Man. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Let's do another one like that. So I'm gonna clear out my main method here. Um, we can keep this method, we're not gonna use it again, but you can use code folding here, and hit the minus on the left hand side and that will collapse the method so you don't see it anymore. Um, let's program more by intention. Let's say I want to produce an array list of integers called, let's give it a long awkward name so we can practice tab completion. So I'll call it my random list. And let's call it make list, um, like up to 100, for example. Okay, so here it's suggesting that we, I don't know what popped that up. Here it's suggesting that we hit Alt Enter because array list is something that we have to import. So put your cursor on array list, hit Alt Enter, and say import. Now go ahead and put your cursor on make list, hit Alt Enter, and say create method. So um, I'm going to call this max. And here let's create an array list of integers and we'll, we can call this list. And instead of typing new and then the full array list, you can just say new and then a and then hit enter and hit a semicolon and it auto completes the rest for you. All right, so let's do this. Let's fill the list with numbers from zero up to max. So again, we'll type for i, we'll keep it as i, we'll go up to m tab and I hit enter. Now I'll type li tab dot enter. So I'm, I'm typing very little here because I'm letting the autocomplete work for me. And I want to add i into my array list. Um, now that it's all full, let's go ahead and shuffle it so it's in random order. You might not know about this, but if you do capital C O L L E C T I O N S collections dot shuffle, you can shuffle L tab semicolon. This is something that we have to import. So we hit Alt Enter to import. And now we can return li tab. So you should really practice using tab all the time for auto completion because you can really express your ideas very, very quickly. Okay, so now we've got this great method that makes uh, a random list. I wish that I could display the list in a convenient way. So rather than starting to use print statements or having a loop that will loop over it, let's program by intention. Print list will be the method that I wish existed, and I'm going to give it my random list. If you're typing the full word, my random list, you're doing it wrong. You should use the tab completion. So now I'm going to hit Alt Enter to create the print list method. Cool, cool. I'm going to rename this list. So. I'm going to show you another shortcut similar to for i. Um, here I want to loop over the whole list. Another word for loop is iterate. So uh, you can type it for iterate and then li for list. I'm iterating over a list. And you hit enter. And i is the name of the loop variable. List is the name of my list. Um, we can keep all of these the way that they are. And as you see, i starts at location 0, goes all the way up to the size of the list. I'm asking the list to get the ith element from it, and I'm saving it into a variable. Integer is not a very good name. I'm going to call it val. Now let's type s out, and I'll say the or I'll say element, and then i is, oops, and then val. And so now I've got this nice method that will display for me, and I'll collapse both of them so that everything's nice and clean. And you can see that my main method looks very clean. I make a list and then I print it. Let's go ahead and run it and see what it looks like. Cool. So element 0 is 83, 48, and so on. And then if we wanted to make a smaller one, you could make this 5 and run it again. And now it's up to 5. Um, you should really strive in the next year to do this kind of clean coding where you make a method for any particular reusable chunk of code, um, even if you don't happen to end up reusing it, just for readability and debugging purposes. Um, just for contrast, let me, uh, let me pause it and you can see what this would look like without method. Okay, here we are. So this doesn't look terrible, um, but it takes a little bit of psychological effort to read through this and think like, what does this code really mean? So here I'm like, all right, it's, oh, I see, I'm adding numbers to a list, and oh, then I shuffle, and what's this about? Oh, I'm displaying. It all takes a little moment. Um, if we compare that to what it looked like originally, this requires a lot less effort. I'm thinking, okay, I have a list that comes from a method 
whose max is 100, and then I print it. So I have to think a lot less in order to read this code. Um, it's also more flexible. In the other program, it was going to take me a minute to figure out how to change the size of my list. Here it's very obvious. Also, this is more reusable. Here if I wanted to make five lists in a row, I could do that. In the other program, that would be much more difficult. I'd say the only major problem is maybe make list wasn't the best name because there's nothing in this name that indicates that the results are going to be random. So let me show you another shortcut that you can use in IntelliJ. With your cursor on the method name, hit Shift F6 and you can start typing a new name. Let's call it make random list instead. And as you can see down here, it's renaming that method everywhere that it occurs. So you hit enter when you're done. There's one last one I'm going to show you today. Uh, go ahead and mess up just the spacing in your program, just the formatting only. So don't change any punctuation, don't change any letters, um, just change the spacing. So obviously that's very ugly. I want to show you how to auto format. In Eclipse, it's Control shift f In IntelliJ, um, well let's pretend that you forgot what it was in IntelliJ. The most important thing to remember is Control shift a it's all sort of in a line on the left hand side of your keyboard. Control Shift A. And this is a box where you can type in an action that you want to do and it will tell you what the hotkey is or it will give you a link that will let you do it. So what we want to do is related to format. Um, and you can see down here it says reformat code is Control Alt L. So I could either click here and it will do it or I'll hit escape and let's go ahead and click control or let's hit the keys control alt l and you see that it's auto formatted so um, i'm telling you this right in the very first video before we ever program because in the subsequent videos i want you to start practicing these techniques so that um, you'll be a really fluid programmer and when you have an idea you can express it easily okay